how could you possibly stand to stand on the shoulders of the weak? You're so much colder than I could ever possibly imagine to be. And yet I weep that maybe it's a circumstance that even just in a nightmare is something that could come to be. And it's a pain I can't bear. And in the depth of it all, from the beginning of time to my last breath, which is truly, truly the end of all life, or at least to me, this isn't fair. It's a burden no one should have to bear. And yet we do. Whether it's a moment of depression with a side of anxiety that it turns out we're all allergic to. And now we can't breathe, we can't see, <clears throat> we don't know what we were supposed to be. But whatever that was, we must have given up on it a long time ago. Because with a purpose that spelled to the intensity of shooting for the stars, how can someone tell me to die? Sit there and mock my scars. Every moment since I can remember, I've wanted to slice open my undeserving skin. I can't know why that overwhelming thought corrupts my heart, but it must, ha it must be a sin. It has to be. And if this is a sin, then my God, I need redemption. But I don't want this, and I never did. So take this tale of a pathetic freak who hides behind fake smiles and drowns in my own self-soaked blood. Take away these thoughts because I never asked for it. But you won't. And I don't find you cruel. Half of me thinks I deserve it. But I know my other half is too weak or maybe too intelligent to respond to any statement such as this. Because although I don't know if this is something I deserve, it's how I'll be heard. When I can talk louder than the maniacal voices, screaming to end it all, I can finally not worry about what happens after I fall. And be me, I dare you. This isn't my fault. I have a happy life with love and reasons to live, and yet every time I try to breathe, it's like I'm trapped in a jar and you just close the lid, depriving me of the oxygen I so desperately need. And more than my want of oxygen, I have to be free. To say that I don't have real problems, and maybe I truly don't, a pathetic mess, a lie, a joke, but you try to live with this procrastinated brain of mine, always pushing back the days until I die. So don't you dare tell me that I don't have real problems. Because problems are simply the things that hurt us, the things we hate. And if I don't have real problems, then what are you, you deceitful snake? I thought God crushed your head the day you created the disease that sleeps through my veins. And yet you reign in those who only add reasons to why I love my own pain. And maybe I can never make it out. I could just listen and let go. Stop wasting the oxygen on the thoughts of ending it all. But I won't do that. I won't give you the satisfaction. I will take action and sing, yell, pray, cuss, love, hate, touch, break, fix, he heal, mend, obliterate, smile, cry, bleed, grow, find home, and love so, so much that you will never be able to hate again. And with that satisfaction, I could finally die happy. Hey.